Welcome to Chapter 4. In Chapter 4, we are going to learn about the plastic part tools in SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a bit of a playground for plastic part developers. There are a lot of tools to help you get your job done for specialized type of work in plastic parts. Let's start by opening the file from Infinite Skills Working Files folder 0401 Plastic Part. That's this part we have on the screen here. This is a cover for a mechanism. The cover has ribs inside it for stiffening and support. It has bosses to receive pins for assembly. It has a groove around the part for lip and groove assembly support, and also ribs for stiffening. We'll take a look at how this part was made and the various features and tools that you can use to create parts like this in SolidWorks. Let's start by just rolling back the part. Grab the rollback bar with your cursor and pull it all the way back to the top. The part was started from just a block and then draft was added to the block. The draft has a neutral plane and then faces were selected to be drafted. We'll look at draft in a little more detail later on. There are other types of draft other than neutral plane. From here, a revolve feature was added to create the hemispherical face on the model. And we've added a full round fillet and a constant width fillet to make it look nice and smooth. And then cut slightly to give it an arc to fit the mating part that it goes onto, and the shell feature was used. We will do an entire lesson just on the shell feature. We'll take a quick look at it now. The faces that you want to remove are selected, and you establish some thickness. You're allowed to use multi-thickness settings, so if you have a part that is thicker in some areas than in others, you can establish that in SolidWorks. The rib feature is a powerful tool in SolidWorks, and as I've mentioned in a previous lesson, there are two orientations you can use for the rib tool. One is create a sketch in the plan view, as we've done here. The sketch was created looking down on the part like this. And the other type of rib is the profile view, where you create a sketch like this from the side view. So we've created both of those kinds of ribs. Also available in SolidWorks is a groove feature. This is actually part of a pair of features called the lip and groove, and SolidWorks can create either a lip or a groove on a part, and if you have both sides of a plastic assembly together in one part, you can put the lip on one and the groove on the other. This is a function of multi-body parts that we will address in a later lesson. Mounting bosses are standard feature in SolidWorks, and they help you create a standard assembly mounting boss easily. You can create one with a hole, and for the other side, with a pin. Interestingly, mounting bosses do not allow you to create screw bosses easily, but there is a workaround for this that we can talk about later. The mounting boss was patterned around after it was added, and the profile rib was also patterned after it was created, in part just to show that the pattern of the feature is intelligent and it can change in size. The rest of the lessons in this chapter are going to talk about the features used to create this part in greater detail, and we will have additional parts to work with as well.